Hawaii officials are warning residents of the Big Island that the world's largest active volcano, Mauna Loa, is sending signals that it may erupt. Scientists say they're on alert because of a recent spike in earthquakes at the volcano's summit. Experts say it would take just a few hours for lava to reach homes closest to vents on the volcano, which last erupted back in 1984. Which last? erupted back in 1984. Officials are holding meetings across the island to educate residents about how to prepare for a possible emergency. There could be trouble in paradise. Officials say in Hawaii, they say the world's largest active volcano is sending signals that it may erupt on the big island. Scientists say an eruption at Mauna Loa is an imminent, but they are on alert because of a recent spike in earthquakes at the volcano summit. Experts say it would take just a few hours for the lava to reach homes. The volcano last erupted in 1984. We begin on the big island where dozens of residents came out to learn about potential threats as increased activity continues on Mauna Loa. Chrissy Tomashiro spoke to officials and residents and has our top story. It was standing room only at the Ocean View Community Center Saturday. Residents anxiously waiting to hear the status of Mauna Loa. We have been to these talks before when Mauna Loa was acting up and we just want to see if anything's changed. Experts say within the last three weeks there have been over 800 seismic events on Mauna Loa. We are in a period of what we've been calling, you know, high background or elevated unrest or heightened unrest, which just means there's more earthquakes than normal up beneath the summit area. Experts say Mauna Loa itself covers about 51% of Hawaii Island, and they want the community to start preparing in case of an eruption. So even if you don't live directly under the rift zones, because you live in Kohala or something, if there's a Mauna Loa eruption, the potential is if it cuts off the highway, the whole island is going to be impacted. The Hawaii County Civil Defense bases its actions on how HVO pushes out its alerts. If the alert level increases to orange, that will indicate an eruption could take place. This community, Ka'u, Ocean View, South Kona, is vulnerable to fast flows if it comes in this direction. So based upon our monitoring, what U, uh, USGS HVO tells us, then we'll take the appropriate actions. The county and Red Cross are already meeting to discuss possible shelters. We know a lot of these folks go to Kailua Kona, so whether they need to go, go to Kailua Kona or they need to go further in, or you know to the to the east, you know Kau or Hilo, we have um, I guess flexibility to open shelters in those areas as well. says Mauna Loa remains in a yellow advisory Saturday. That means there's no imminent signs of an eruption. But within the last 24 hours, there's been 10 small earthquakes detected, all less than 3.0 magnitude. Ocean View businesses and residents aren't wasting any time. People seem to be buying more water. Um, there's a lot of activity going on with like just the heightened sense of something's going to happen. And plus, you know, you can feel a lot of rumbling around here. And residents tell me they've already made emergency plans and they're keeping a close eye on the situation. But as to being worried right now, my husband checks National Geological every day. So I'm not panicked, but I feel we're prepared. And that's the most important thing. Officials say more community meetings are being scheduled. We'll have a schedule on our website, KH12.com. Christy Tomashiro, K21 2 News, working for Hawaii. South Korea is in mourning after more than 150 people were killed in a crush at a huge Halloween celebration in the capital of Seoul. The ABC understands at least one Australian has died. Dozens of people have been injured and there are fears that the death toll could rise. North Asia correspondent James Oten is in Seoul for us tonight. And a warning, this report has some disturbing footage. <laughs> In a narrow alley, crushed against a wall. Many just couldn't escape. Around 100,000 people had come to this popular night spot to celebrate Halloween. Oh my God, oh my God. 
my God. No one knows what set off the stampede. People came together for the first time since COVID restrictions were lifted to party and the crowds were huge. When panic set in, they scrambled to get out, but it was near impossible. Many fell and dozens were knocked unconscious. Bystanders rushed to help the injured. Emergency vehicles struggled to get to the site through roads jammed with people. It looked like a scene from a movie, like things happening during a war. It was completely out of control. The Itaewon area in Seoul is full of nightclubs, bars and restaurants. It's the favourite venue for a night out for locals, expatriates and international travellers. An asteroid as tall as Dubai's Burj Khalifa skyscraper will pass surprisingly close to Earth just hours after Halloween. The newly discovered 2002 RM4 will come too close to Earth for comfort on November 1st. The asteroid has an estimated diameter of 2,428 feet or 740 meters. That is just under Dubai's 2,716-foot tall Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. Astronomers discovered this asteroid on September 12, 2022. It's classed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory as near-Earth object, an Apollo-type object and a potentially hazardous asteroid. Apollo asteroids are a class of objects named for asteroid 1862 Apollo. Such asteroids have an orbit that is larger than Earth's orbit around the Sun, and their path crosses Earth's path. 2002 RM4 orbits the Sun every 1,397 days, and its path does occasionally cross Earth's orbital path around the Sun. The asteroid will be so large and so close that it will be photographed by astronomers using telescopes. The moment of 2002 RM4's closest approach is 6.32 p.m. UTC time. So what could NASA do if it was headed straight for Earth? Well, by lucky coincidence, 2002 RM4 is around about the same size as Didymos. Well, by lucky coincidence, 2002 RM4 is around about the same size as Didymos.
Yeah. 